For one of my lunches this week, I'm having a lemon herb Mediterranean chicken salad. So the first thing I need to do is work on the marinade for the chicken. So to a bowl, I am adding in two tablespoons of avocado oil, the juice of one lemon, two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, two teaspoons each of dried parsley and dried basil. You can use fresh if you have it, of course. One tablespoon of minced garlic and then some salt and pepper. So after I mix all this up, I'm going to pour half of this mixture into a gallon size Ziploc bag. The other half is we are gonna save and use that as the dressing. So make sure you have those separate because of course you don't wanna use the one that the chicken's been in. So I'm going to let this chicken marinate while I do the rest of the meal prep. So next I need to chop up a whole English cucumber and a few Roma tomatoes. These will be the vegetables in the salad. The salad also called for olives, but I'm not a huge olive fan, but if you wanna put Kalamata of olives in it, that is one of the things in the original recipe. So I'm gonna pack the veggies separate from the cooked chicken so they all stay fresh longer. And I forgot to record myself slicing up some red onion, but that will also be in the salad. And I think I forget to show that to you later on also, but there is red onion in the salad. So now we're going to fast forward time about 90 minutes that the chicken has been marinating. I'm done with my meal prep at this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the chicken. I'm gonna cook it up in the air fryer at 400 degrees for 10 minutes and I flip it halfway through. Of course, your air fryer may be different, so definitely follow the you know manufacturer guidelines on your air fryer for how long you cook things. So when I do have this salad for lunch, I will have a have it on a bed of romaine lettuce. I will add the cucumbers, the tomatoes, some avocado, some red onion, which yes, I forgot to show you, um, the chicken and a tablespoon of the unused marinade and dressing. And then I'll squeeze some lemon on top. And you guys, this chicken smelled so good when it was cooking. So I cannot wait to have this. I think it's gonna be an amazing flavorful salad. So the recipe and the points breakdown will be in the description box. So another lunch that I'm gonna be having, you guys know I like to have several options for lunches. I'm gonna cook up some buffalo chicken wraps. So in this bowl, I have about two cups of cooked chicken. I just cooked it in my air fryer. And to that, I'm adding in a half of a cup of Frank's buffalo sauce and two tablespoons of fat-free cream cheese. So I'm gonna pop this into the microwave and just to help melt the cream cheese up a little bit. And then when I serve this up, I will serve it on one of these low carb wraps with some shredded lettuce and some of this Bolt House Farms blue cheese dressing. And I don't know about you, but anything in buffalo sauce is amazing and I love it and I love it with blue cheese. So I'm also going to prep up a couple of parfaits that I'm gonna have for breakfast. So first I need to clean and chop up some strawberries and raspberries. And then to this container, I'm adding in some plain non-fat Greek yogurt. My normal favorite Greek yogurt is the one from Costco, but I haven't made it there yet this week. So I'm using this stuff from Chobani. So I'm just putting one of these full containers into this glass container. And then I'm gonna add in some of the berries. And then to top my parfaits, I will be using Cheerios. So this is a trick that I discovered when I was doing Simply Filling a couple years ago. Cheerios are Simply Filling. And also you can have a 14 grams of plain Cheerios for one smart point, which it's a lot for a parfait. Uh, for a full serving is one cup which is three smart points, but for 14 grams for one smart point, that is plenty for this parfait. So this will be one of my breakfast options this week. For another breakfast, I'm gonna chop up and air fry some sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Yes, this is for breakfast. So for those of you that have been around for a while, you may remember when I used to saute up Brussels sprouts, zucchini, and sweet potatoes, and then add them to a bowl with some avocado and top it with poached eggs. Well, I forgot to do the zucchini, but I have the Brussels sprouts and the sweet potatoes. So this is such a nutritious and filling breakfast. And then also I can use these sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts through the whole week as a side dish or just throw them in a side salad. They are great in salads. So I also had a package of some rosemary red potatoes that I wanted to cook up. So I just threw those into the air fryer as well. I cooked those at 400 degrees for about 12 minutes. So this will be another side dish that I can have through the week. And then finally, another thing I had to use up in my refrigerator was a package of turkey bacon. So I thought that would be a great thing to have with breakfast. So I just cooked that in my air fryer at 400 degrees. Yes, I cook everything in my air fryer at 400 degrees. I'm just lazy to look up to see what it should be. So I just do 400 degrees and just adjust the minutes. So I cook these for five minutes and it comes out perfect every single time. 
So for one of my dinners this week, I'm having a crock pot meal called a Hawaiian barbecue chicken. So in this gallon size Ziploc bag, I have four chicken breasts. To that, I'm adding in three tablespoons of coconut aminos, a 20 ounce can of pineapple tidbits, and you also include the juice, one whole green pepper that has been chopped up, a half of a red onion sliced up, one teaspoon of ginger, I'm just using some minced ginger, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and one cup of barbecue sauce. I'm using this sweet and spicy barbecue sauce from G. Hughes. And then you wanna add in an eighth of a cup of avocado oil. So I will be mixing this all up and then I'm gonna put this in the freezer until the day before I have it. And so then the day, the morning that we have this, going to have this for dinner, I'll just put it into the crock pot and, and then I'll cook it on low for eight hours. So as you guys know, I leave the house each day at seven o'clock in the morning and I don't get home till after five. So I do like to prep for dinners as much as I can. And one of the ways is I will break down any big packages of chicken that I have and I'll just break it down with, you know, into the different meals. So I needed some for um, the panko chicken strips I'm making and also for some stuffed chicken that I'm making. So I just separated all them out into the different individual meals I'll be having and it makes it so much easier. Also, I get a lot of questions about having to cook two meals every night for dinner due to my husband's poultry allergy. So I solve some of that extra work by doing a bit of prep each Sunday. And I don't normally show this to you since it's not WW friendly foods or foods that I will be eating. But since I get asked, here you go. So meatloaf is on the menu for tonight. And that is something that my husband and my stepson absolutely love. So I will be making this for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this meatloaf together quickly so it's ready to go tonight and all I have to do is just throw it in the oven. So while I'm working on the meatloaf on the stove, I am also browning up three pounds of ground beef. So it will just simply add a little bit of salt and pepper to this meat so I can go ahead and use it for any of the meals that I'm having this week for my family. So the three meals that I plan on cooking for them that I won't be eating will be spaghetti, sloppy joes, and taco casserole. So with this meat already being cooked up, I simply have to add in spaghetti sauce, sloppy joe sauce, and taco seasoning each of the night. So easy peasy. So I also, I timed this extra time that it took me to make these few things and it literally took me just 15 extra minutes and I was cooking the meat on the stove while I was doing other things. So, but this will shave so much more time off of me and hassle when I have to cook dinner each of these nights. So there you go, another Sunday, another meal prep. So please make sure you check out the description box for recipes and points. On the screen, as usual, there'll be a playlist of 100 plus meal prep videos that I have on my channel. And if you are new here, I hope you will stick around and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.